All right, guys, so we have 4 as a whole number divided by 1 third equals who knows. So I can say this as if I have 4 pieces of pie, how many thirds are there in my 4 pieces of pie? So humor me into thinking that these are all equal sizes of thirds. And I want to know how many of those one-thirds, how many of these are there in my total? How many of these size pieces do you see? And it becomes pretty simple. We just start counting them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I see 12 thirds, right? There are 12 of them. So 4 divided by 1 third should equal 12. So mathematically, what does that mean? Very simply, it means if I have 4 pies and I want to know how many thirds there are, then I can simply multiply my number of pies by the number of third pieces in each pie, which would be what we call a reciprocal. A reciprocal a reciprocal is, uh, a, an, I think of it as an invert to a number, but it's the number that when multiplied by another number, you would get a product of 1. So I can invert fractions to whole numbers, or I can invert whole numbers to fractions, basically by switching the numerator and the denominator. So some examples. Uh, if, I have the, uh, if I want the reciprocal of 4, what would that be? I would have one-fourth, because four times a fourth would equal one, okay? Uh, here's another example. If I had the reciprocal of two-thirds, what would that be? Three-halves, because that would end up being six-sixths, which is a whole. So I can, when I have a divide by a fraction or a whole number, I can multiply by its reciprocal. So take a moment to make sure you understand that dividing by one-third is the same as multiplying by three. And that's it. That is grade six, module two, lesson two. Good luck.